Hello everyone, welcome to the reading. This reading will be about the energetic storyline of Chloe Bailey. Let's see what her current energies are. So this is about her current energies. So I'm getting the energies that she's letting go of all stress, worry, anxiety. And she's sort of just having faith um, just for what's to come. I'm getting the energies that she's not trying to stress herself with anything. So let's look deeper with that. So yeah, she sees that she's um, about to start a journey. Sort of like a new positive journey in her life. So at the moment, she's just focused on her dream, on her vision. Um, she's getting her uh, energies ready. Sort of like uh, adjusting her foundation. So that's cool. Those are her current energies. Let's see how she feels about her solo career. Okay, there's a lot of cards, but let's look into it. Okay, well, right off the bat, we're starting off with sort of just like difficult energies. I'm getting the feeling that she has a lot of people that are inter interested in sort of like guiding her on like what direction she should go, she should uh, follow. And they're all sort of like putting in their two cents. <laughs> and it's sort of like causing an energy of frustration. Let's look deeper into this. Let's see how she feels. Well, she feels like she's not going to let sort of like <laughs> their energies ruin her dreams. Um, I'm also getting the energies that she's kind of just like closed herself off emotionally with this sort of like ice energy. You know, she seems somewhat like frigid, but it's all to protect her dream and to protect her energy. So let's look deeper into this. Yeah, it seems like sort of like the more she follows her intuition the more joyful her circumstances will be. The more sort of like easy things will work out. So let's continue because we have a lot of cards. <laughs> yeah, to kind of like reinforce what I was saying that it's gonna help her with her um, advancement. So let's see what could be like an unfore unforeseen energy during this time. So it's kind of just like the unforeseen energies is kind of just like a lot of people in her sort of situation will kind of like not be there anymore. <laughs> sort of like with this one being here, it's just going to be her. So she's not going to be sort of like relying on anyone really but herself. So at the moment, she's starting off with like a lot of different people's um, input and stuff like that. But the outcome will be her doing things by herself. Yeah, I'm getting the feeling that a lot of people won't take too kindly about it. They're going to think she's kind of just being um, kind of like big headed is what I'm getting. They're going to see her as kind of just like being reckless, being belligerent, <laughs> not considering anyone else. But I'm getting the feeling those are the energies that she has to be in. Yeah, again, to reinforce what I was saying, that she's sort of like following her intuition, you know. The more she like taps into that intuition, the more it will be easier to uh, <laughs> like, basically like get her agenda done. That's what I'm seeing, you know. I'm also getting the energies though, that you're gonna see her not be so caught up in sort of like social media, that's what I'm getting. I'm also getting like before she was like trying to overexpose herself, but as she's starting to like go into this solo career, you know, she's not going to be so like open with um, what she's doing and like all her projects and all that. She's going to be releasing it um, like piece by piece, her projects. You know, she's not going to be throwing herself <laughs> at like people as far as like um with her vision and all so yeah i'm getting a lot of success with um these energies right now 
So I'm looking at a lot of success. Sort of like she's really in the spot that she needs to be in as far as like following her energetic guidance, you know, listening to her spirit. And it's definitely going to put her in a champion sort of position. So that's really good. <laughs> it's very good. So let's continue. Also, please um, like and uh, subscribe and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about what's going on. So let's see how does Holly Bailey feel about uh, her sister Chloe going solo. Let's see what's going on with that. So I'm kind of getting like energies of conflict, <laughs> you know, I'm kind of feeling like it's throwing her energy off because she's used to kind of being like a team with her sister. And I feel like with her sort of like sister sort of doing her own thing at the moment, she feels as though she has to be in this sort of like fighting spirit, this fighting mode. You know, and there might also be sort of like conflict um, with her sister that she's feeling that she's not really putting out there. But those are the energies I'm picking up on. So let's see. What is Holly ba Bailey feeling? Yeah, so she's basically trying to find like understanding as far as like how she moved forward next. You know, she feels hurt. You know, so I'm getting the energies of, uh, she's in like prayer, <laughs> stuff like that. Basically, you know, asking source, spirit, the most high, like for guidance. So let's look deeper. Yeah, so she's feeling all alone, but I'm getting the energies that this is a transformation period for her as well. You know, it's gonna kind of like reinforce her own foundation and kind of like guide her as far as like where she should be headed towards. So let's look, what are kind of like um, unforese unforeseen events with this? <laughs> so the unforeseen events is that she's definitely, I guess you would think it's um, kind of like a seen event, <laughs> but it's an unseen event, sort of like, she's gonna be like in a lot of sadness, you know? She's definitely gonna feel very lonely and she's not gonna know how to proceed. But the unforeseen event is during this time, it's gonna kind of like set the energies up for the future with her. Kind of like um, symbolic of these gold tears. So it's kind of like, you know, she's feeling kind of like alone. I'm kind of getting the energies that she's feeling betrayed in a way, you know? So I don't know like if she decided to come into this with her sister and they agreed on just like sticking together but the positives in this is out of this conflict, um, sort of like some good stuff is gonna be coming towards her as I'm getting. So those are the energies that Haley Bailey is feeling about her sister going solo. So let's see, are the general public even interested <laughs> in Chloe Bailey? That's a good question, right? So I'm getting the energies that the public kind of feels overly saturated <laughs> with all these different sort of like um, singers, celebrities, like Instagram people and so forth, YouTube people. So I kind of feel like it's going to be somewhat of a challenge for her to cement herself with the people. So let's look deeper into that. What is that about? Again, this is for... Um, are the general public even um, interested in Chloe Bailey? So I'm getting that she will have success. You know, I'm getting that it's gonna be kind of rough at first because people aren't gonna be so interested because they have so many options with this illusion here. But she's definitely gonna be um, sort of like successful. So that's good. So like people aren't gonna be interested in her now, but they will be as she continues with what she's doing. So let's see, does Chloe uh, view Normani as a threat? So that's another good question. Ooh, interesting. 
So what I'm getting is, is that she's kind of like aware of everyone that's sort of like in the same sort of genre and vibe that she's in. So she understands that like there's a lot of unexpected uh, events that can happen. You know, she's definitely aware of like that duality energy of like one minute someone not being cool and then the next minute they might be everything. So she's definitely aware of that. You know, she understands again that like the seasons um, can change. So she's not <laughs> like big headed and thinking like, even if she make it, that she's gonna be just like the greatest thing ever. Cause she might, but she understands that like, you know, the celebrity world is like uh, fickle, like the music industry in itself. So that's how she's feeling, you know? I'm getting the energies that she wants to come into sort of like the music game without drama is what I'm getting. I mean that she just wants to have fun and she doesn't care for like drama. Kind of like um, she likes to just focus on what she's doing and where she's headed. So yeah. <laughs> With this um, card, this Beyond Illusion, she definitely sees beyond, like, the celebrity gossip. <laughs> sort of like, you know, with vloggers and people and everyone saying about, like, you know, the current scandals and dramas that's happening. You know, it's showing that she's definitely just tuned into herself and what she's doing. You know, she sees herself as kind of like an outsider in that aspect. You know, because a lot of uh, other people kind of love to get caught up in the drama and sort of just like um, express how they're feeling. And, you know, I'm getting the energies that if she has to, she'll definitely express herself. I'm getting the energies that she doesn't care for that. You know, that's not really her personality. She's not, no offense to people that like Lizzo, but she's not like a Lizzo. She doesn't want to complain and cry, cry and sort of like, post that <laughs> and make that sort of like a part of her image she's very strict about her image so that's pretty cool so let's see let's see what chloe's um current dating situation is about what's happening with um chloe's current dating situation And if a card doesn't pop out, I'll just um, pull from the deck. Okay, one sec. Okay. <laughs> so I'm getting the energies that she's just being young, you know, like, <laughs> and not saying you can't be older and have fun, but I'm just, that's the energies that I'm seeing is that she's kind of just like caught up with her youth and sort of just like, um, enjoying herself you know the fact that all these cards are uh face down it's showing her emotional sort of like um views on her current dating situation yeah so she's looking for energies to be supportive you know she understands that she's elevating so she wants someone to sort of like support that elevation Exactly, you know, with this ascension, you know, she's elevating. So I'm getting energies that she doesn't mind someone in the industry like this. She might actually be seeing someone in the industry. But what I'm getting is, is that this person has to have like a firm foundation. You know, they can't be exposed and always in the headlines. She's not feeling that. So let's continue to look. Yeah, she wants uh, someone to sort of like understand her mentally, you know, with this cerebral energy. She wants sort of like all aspects of herself to be understood and appreciated. So that's pretty cool. Again, she's not stressing. So it seems like she has sort of like a firm <laughs> sort of like foundation that's kind of like really good, especially for her to be so young. Um, she's definitely like just surrendering herself to the universe you know she's not trying to force anything she's basically like neutral to everything 
And that's sort of like good energies to be in. So let's look deeper. Yeah, so she wants uh, this guy to basically have his own sort of situations, like, you know, his own works, you know, his own creations. I'm getting the energies as well that she wants someone that that's kind of just like uh, a friendly person, you know, a person that works well with others. So that's cool. So let's see what this last energy is about. Is about. Yeah, she definitely wants this person to be sort of like an artist or <laughs> an athlete or a singer or rapper. So what I'm getting is, is that you're not going to like see her with sort of like an average person. You're not going to see her with like a school guy or a doctor or like anything like that. You're going to see her with um, industry guys. So that's what I'm getting. So that's pretty cool. And let's see. What surprise does the universe have in store for Chloe? One second. <laughs> I forgot to put that right. Okay. So let's see. What surprise does the universe have in store for Chloe? Again, if a card doesn't pop out, I'll just choose from the deck. Yeah, so we're looking at, unfortunately, you know, everything seems well, like her career is going to um, go well and all that stuff. But we're looking at some pain some unforeseen event so let's look deeper that kind of sucks because i thought we were just going to leave on a high note but you know these are the energies so my bad i guess um but it is what it is so let's see what is the sorrow about so i'm getting the energies though that it has to do with a decision you know, I'm definitely getting a, dis a decision. So I don't know if, because I see like sort of like two columns here, two stairs, you know. And so I don't know if this has to do with like her sister or whatnot. But I'm getting the feeling that she has to leave sort of like the past behind. So, you know, like that unseen event has to be about her sort of like leaving what was behind. You know, that's why it's sort of like the guy's not facing it. So it's going to cause her some serious sadness. You know, so that's jacked up. You know, I'm also getting the energies like she's going to be receiving sort of like a lot of like jacked up energy from like um, online uh, forces. So like people on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all that stuff. They're definitely going to be sort of just like seeing a lot of uh, negative energies her way. And I think it has to do with um, her elevation. So that's what I'm getting. <laughs> it's jacked up, but it's not, I don't think it's that serious, you know? I mean, it's gonna like kind of cause her like sadness as far as like um, having to leave people behind and it's gonna cause uh, sadness for those people. You know, this also, I'm also getting the energies that this is gonna somewhat like affect her family life. So I don't like know anything about her family, but I'm getting the energies that as she elevates, she's going to be kind of like lonely. <laughs> so that's why she's going to um, need to turn uh, inward, inwardly. So I can definitely keep going and make this a long reading, but um, yeah, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> but yeah, guys, um, thanks for watching. Please like, uh, please subscribe. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. Um, also, you know, we might go deeper <laughs> in the future um, as far as this goes. But I'm going to be coming out with more videos. So, yeah. Thanks again.